It is time to return to Cowtown. If you don't know the story about Cowtown, well, it used to be called Turtle Town. And actually, Jelly used to be the only player on here. But me and Josh joined, and now we troll the heck out of each other. And today is absolutely no different. I think you're actually gonna feel pretty bad for me at the end of this video. If you want more Cowtown, make sure to slap a like on this video. 50,000 likes, and I'll do another one. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's get right into this video. Why? Why, 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 why is my house destroyed again? What did I do, huh? What did I do, Josh? Jelly? Who is it? Who's responsible for this crime? Also, by the way, wow, look at this. There's like a whole new path in town and... Wait, what happened to my cow town? Whoa, look at these staircases and everything. This looks like professional. Calling all pro Minecraft builders. Sorry, my phone is ringing. Yes, hello, you were calling for me? Just kidding, I suck at building. That was a bad joke. We are paying two diamonds to anyone that is willing to renovate the entire of New Cowtown. Thanks, scrap stuff in the chest. Yo, if there's two diamonds in this chest, I'm about to steal it. Well, that sucks. So this is the New Cowtown, huh? All right, well, I wonder who paid for this. Whoa, check that out. There's even a map. This is sick. Anyway, we'll check that out more later. We actually need to figure out what happened with this. Okay, let me go through my memory real quick. Last episode, the only thing I did was blow up Jelly's base a little bit. But that wasn't my fault. He set up the traps himself. I just stepped on him on accident. Can that really have made him that mad? I even cleaned up the mess. The episode before that, though, I did set up a booby trap to uh, blow up Josh's walls. But it seems like he kind of wanted to be gone anyway. I don't know what I've done to deserve this, but we're going to figure it out. Oh, no, my yellow crib. What have they done to you? My carpet is gone. No! no! Oh, geez, I really need to fix that roof. There's way too much echo in here now. And, of course, we got some signs. Sorry about the holes in your roof. Follow the rules. Also, some of the floor caught on fire. Jelly. <gasps> Jelly! Is it really you? Is it true? Really? Why would you do that? Did he legit just blow up some of my base? Oh, no. Uh, do we really want to, you know, go past these signs again? I mean, we did that last time, and that's kind of what got us in this trouble. He's made it impenetrable. Uh, however, will I get through? Oh, no. What will I do? Wait. I wasn't actually expecting that, but that's sick. Okay, I'll just do this instead. Okay, I think the way up is right here. Are you kidding me? I just went around like that? That makes no sense. Anyway, let's uh, clean that up, clean that up. You know, we'll just go through. So we need to figure out how and what happened since he blew my stuff up, right? Yeah, let's go to the watchtower. Maybe we can see more from up here. I mean, this is like the perfect trajectory if he shot a TNT or something at my house. But I don't see any cannons around. Hold on. <gasps> wait, no way! Wait, 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 wait. Is that what I think it is? I was wrong, I was too excited. No way, did he really? He built a TNT cannon and he shot it at my base. And it hit. Dang, that's actually impressive. On behalf of Cowtown, I declare that Jelly is not responsible enough to own a TNT cannon, so I will be confiscating this. Thank you very much. Before you get mad at me, I think we can all agree that the Jelly with the TNT cannon isn't good. Let's get a sign and just let him know. Your TNT cannon is hereby confiscated on behalf of the safety of me. Craner. I was gonna say Cowtown, but let's be honest, it, it's it's my own safety I'm thinking about. TNT blew up my roof, I get that. But did he then just enter my house and also decide to put my carpet on fire? Like, that makes no sense. And I still feel like this is totally irresponsible behavior, and I don't think I actually deserved it. I haven't done anything that bad, man. Uh, let's clean up this mess. It doesn't feel good, but it has to be done. Now, next on the agenda, we need to tear down um my house. Don't mind all the... <laughs> Mutton in my inventory and yellow wool. I, it's uh, not because I killed a bunch of sheep. Nope, definitely not the reason. All right, well, uh, 
I'm just gonna remove my house now. Uh, I just built it, but I guess nobody on the server wants me to have a house. I have a great idea on how we're gonna get rid of this. I don't need this wood anymore anyway. Let's burn it down! That's right! Wait, wait, no, 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 I didn't think about that. That's my diamond tree. That's my diamonds, my diamonds, my diamonds, my diamonds, my diamonds, my diamonds are in that chest. How do I build up with stairs? Ah, no, no. Oh, 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 I almost lost all of my diamonds. I almost lost all of my diamonds. I lost my flag. See, I want to blame Jelly for what just happened, but that was my own stupidity. I can admit that. Yeah, I don't learn from my mistakes. I don't want to talk about it, okay? I, I just don't. I, at this point, I just want to get rid of everything. A few moments later. Now we just need to fill up this hole. Let me go get some dirt. And we are done. Perfect. All right, well, so far, so good. We once had an epic house, but I have terrible friends. So now we literally have nothing. I think I'm just gonna give up. I'm not gonna live in a fancy house anymore because every time I build something I'm happy with, it gets destroyed. So, <sighs> we're moving down in life, guys. I'm gonna build a tent. Nobody is going to troll a tent, right? Ta-da! The Craner tent. Yay! <sighs> this sucks. At least we have a very fancy fence for our tent. You know, that's always something. You gotta count your blessings. All right, the, the tent is done. Now all we need is to move all my things in here. I don't think I can really fit there, but uh, we'll make it work, I guess. Furnaces can go, um, I guess they can go here. We only have room for one furnace. Are you kidding me? How am I gonna move the chest in here? I can't even open it because it's covered by my tent. Yo, my tent sucks. It's only temporary though, Craner. It's only temporary. At least there's no way that the others will troll me now, right? And while they don't troll me, maybe I can spend the time, you know, rebuilding what I had before. All I want is some peace and positivity for a little bit so I can just build a new house, okay? I guess we can have some chests in the ground too. I don't really have room for any more chests in here. <laughs> Jelly's house? Slogo's house? Craner's house? How do you think I feel right now, guys? I don't think I can let Jelly live on with this for too much longer. We need to find a troll to do on him. If you got any ideas, let me know down in the comments. We need to get payback. And if you think I should do it as well, hit that like button. 50,000 likes and I'll definitely do a troll on Jelly. Wait, did I, did I put my diamonds? <gasps> oh, that could have been bad if I left them in there. Oh, wow, that was close. We do actually need a new hiding spot for my diamonds. So let's go find one. Let me look in Cowtown and see what we got for hiding spots here. Wait, what is this? Is this like a vendor or something? Yo, who's moving into Cowtown? I guess cows are actually. I guess that makes sense. Dang, there's a swimming pool. Yo, check me out, buddy. Woo! That is sick. Did you see that trick? No, I'm an iron golem. I don't have time for dumb people like you walking around, ruining everything and fighting each other. It's kind of sad that you don't even know about the hit. Okay. We got a blacksmith in here. Wait, this could be the perfect spot to hide my diamonds. If we just get these and then jump down, dig a little hole here, put this here. Boop. Uh-huh. Now, in here, we can have a little secret spot for diamonds. Check this out. This will be my brand new secret hiding spot. And we go right out again. Okay, I need to bring some stuff from my chests. And we're gonna need a couple more of these. There we go. Now, if we just make the entire bottom of this thing all trapdoors, it looks way less suspicious, right? Make it feel a little bit like home. And now we put down our diamonds right there. Perfect. I think that's actually an even better hiding spot than what I had before. Let me know what you guys think. There we go. And it looks completely innocent. Welcome to my tent. I gave up having something nice. You guys keep ruining it. There we go. Perfect. Remember, keep the new diamond location a secret. Do not tell Jelly or Josh, okay? Good. Check out these two videos, please. Thank you.